Hello, Tom Price from the Grassroots Metric Campaign again. At the April 10th, 2008 meeting of the NCTM people at Salt Lake City in Utah, I was able to speak on the topic, the world is metric and the U.S. students are losing out. I'd like to make a few comments and ob observations in regards to that. The National Math Panel gave a report of their two-year study for answering some of the direct directives of the President and Secretary of Education. Their basic task was to look at pre-algebra, getting kids in this country ready for algebra. How can they be successful? Among their findings, and you can get a copy of this too, let me quote from a few things here. International and domestic comparisons show that American students have not been succeeding in the mathematical part of their education at anything like the level expected of an international leader. International leader? Well, how can we be an international leader when we have two, a dual measuring system? Everybody else in the world uses one metric. How can we be a leader? Page 13. This panel, diverse in experience, expertise, and philosophy, agreed, agrees broadly that the delivery system in this, con in this mathematics education, the system that translates mathematical knowledge into value and ability for the next generation, is broken and must be fixed. That sounds pretty powerful, pretty terrible. It's broken and must be fixed. At the bottom of the page, the mathematics curriculum in grades K, pre-K through 8 should be streamlined should be streamlined. I got an idea for you. Take out customary, just teach metric. Streamline, international leader. Keep going, page 17, 8, 17. We should also be better at fractions, which is, I agree, fractions are tough. There's three areas, whole numbers, fractions, and particular aspects of geometry and measurement. Measurement, two systems do not work. Critical foundations for algebra. Next page, African and Hispanic students are at a disadvantage. They're looking at ways to make things more equitable. Urgent need, got a question for you. Are there two, is there a little bit of a discrimination maybe? You have one kind of unit, customary, that jobs are mainly what? Construction in that field. We have metric units, jobs mainly in science, medicine, pharmacy, research. Is there a discrimination here because one understands one mes measurement system while the other does, does not? I don't know. Page 23, real world problems. As a teacher, I always love this. We've got to give them real world problems. We should probably rephrase that real USA problems because if it's real world, it'd be metric. USA would be customary. We want to be better at these. Well, a lot of them, not all. But a lot of problems have to do with rates, times, speeds, measurements, surface area, volume. Two systems do not work. Page one. During the most of the 20th century, the United States possessed peerless mathematical prowess, not just as measured by the depth and number of its mathematical specialists who practiced here, but also by the scale and quality of its engineering, science, and financial leadership. Science. Science is metric, folks. Math needs to come alongside, or with, besides, science teachers, the science community needs to push the math group so that we're on the same page if you want to get better at it. Next page, national policy must ensure the healthy development of a domestic technical workforce with adequate scale and top level skill. Technical workforce, does that mean metric? I don't know. It's got to be able to measure, that's for sure. Think of this, if we had one system, it wouldn't matter what school, what state, what area of the country, what job. We have a one system, everybody, everybody top, uh, bottom, left, right, same skills. Not two, not discriminated, streamline the curriculum. On page 20, it talks about analyzing geometry, a good background in geometry. Two-dimensional shapes, perimeter and area. Three-dimensional shapes, surface area and volume. We could streamline by cutting back. Metric system based on 10. America prides itself on being the best. We're number one, right? Do we use the world's best measuring system? No, nah, partly. Some parts. Why? I don't know why. Algebra is the key. This report, this panel, algebra. The president, secretary of education, the panel says algebra is the key. How do you get them ready? 
get taken care of with just one measuring system would, would help. Can we be competitive? Can we be competitive in the world when two systems? No. Our counselor talks about how the ACT, the math part of the ACT test, predicts a lot about future success. The math part, let's get them better. One solution is right before us. It's right here, change the metric system. Unfortunately, it's not politically correct. It's not a hot topic. And I think even with math leadership or government in general, campaigns, people running for office, it would be like what? Political suicide. Why? Because there'd be so much opposition. What's it going to take? A president who just says, this is the way it's going to do it, or we're going to have two systems forever? Now, streamline it, get it down to one. You know, if we had just a metric system, and I'm not sure how many elementary teachers are proficient at, at working in two systems, the kids wouldn't have to study it. The teachers wouldn't have to study it. The teachers wouldn't have to teach it. People wouldn't have to be confused. Why not? Here's a question for you. I had someone ask me, are kids turned off at, by math at third, fourth, fifth grade, whatever, because they have run into two systems and they ask the question, why do we have to have two systems? And they maybe get bogged down and shut off from math for the rest of their career? Maybe. Well, there's one thing that we could do. We could switch to the metric system. I got four proposals for you. Number one, NCTM, just use metric units in their publications. Metric only, NCTM publications. Number two, schools are metric only. Just schools. Wouldn't have to change the country. Just schools. Let us focus on one system, not two. Let's get the concepts down. Third proposal, entire country goes metric. That's my best result. Got a fourth proposal. Maybe we should add two weeks to the school year. Oh, we can't do that because that would cost too much money. I bet you... I bet you all the money spent on No Child Left Behind, I would even wager on this. I bet you we could have better results for this country with one measuring system, the metric system, than what's been spent on No Child Left Behind. Well, we could also do another thing, raise teacher salaries, get the best in there for the classroom. Oh, that's too expensive. What's it going to take? Someone to lead. Not easy. Are you willing to help? Grassroots metric campaign. See you on the web.